So you want to make more money. So you're thinking about starting a business, maybe even a business online on Teachers Pay Teachers, but you have no money. You've always heard that you have to spend money to make money, that you need to invest in a coach or a course or a template or something else. But do you really need to? Do you really need to spend money to make money? Is it possible to start a business with no money? That's what I'm answering in today's video and or podcast episode if you're listening in. Hi, by the way, if you're new to me, my name is Brittany from Teach Blog Travel and TPT Seller Central, and I am so glad that you're here. I help teachers build thriving online businesses on Teachers Pay Teachers so they can create passive income and have more time for the things they love, like their family and travel. I build my Teachers Pay Teachers business in just two hours a week. I am currently a full-time teacher as of when I'm recording this, so I know that you can absolutely do this too. Today's video is actually a recording of a training where I show teachers and entrepreneurs how they can start a business on Teachers Pay Teachers with absolutely no money, and it is totally possible. When I first started my business back in 2020, I was completely broke and I just used free resources and tools. In this video, I'm not sharing a screen or slides or anything, so you'll definitely want a notebook and a pen if you're watching. If you're listening, then no worries. You can just go back and replay the episode later, or you can check the show notes for all the details and goodies. Anything I put in the YouTube video, I will also put in the podcast show notes, so please don't feel like you're getting left out. If you haven't already, also, I would so appreciate it if you would like this video, inscribe to my YouTube channel, and click that little bell so that you never miss a notification of a new video post. If you're listening on the podcast, then I would so, so appreciate it if you would write a review. Feel free to take a screenshot and tag me on Instagram. I will be sure to share it back on my story so that as I grow my audience, you can grow yours. You can teach me, you can tag me at Teach Blog Travel or TPT Seller Central. Okay, let's get into today's training, which is how to start a business with no money and specifically how to start an online business on Teachers Pay Teachers with no money. Let's do it excited. I hope that you can see and hear me okay. If you happen to be watching live, be sure to say hi. My name is Brittany. For those of you who don't know me, for those of you who do know me, I would love to see that you're watching and just let me know if you do have any questions about selling on Teachers Pay Teachers, what are they? And then towards the end, I'll go back and answer those questions. Yay! So the question that we're really answering today is, can you start a business if you don't have any money? I'm going to take off my glasses because of the glare here. One thing that I think we hear a lot, and it can even be really like like often to hear in this group is that you have to invest, you have to spend money to make money. You have to invest in a coach. You have to buy a certain course. You have to buy X service or buy X template or whatever. But that's not necessarily true. Now, this is not to say that coaching and courses and all that stuff isn't valuable. I offer those services. There's a reason why. It helps you save time. It helps you curate everything you need in one place so that you're not scouring the internet for it. And it kind of helps you trade that money for time so that you're not spending your valuable, precious time later. But I get it. Like when you're first getting started, even spending like 50, 100, and, and up into the four figures can be a lot of money. And depending on where you are in the world, you know, like conversion wise, 100 US dollars could be a lot. And so I get that. And so I want to do a free video today training about how you can start a store on Teachers Pay Teachers with absolutely no money, how you could even start making money like this weekend if you wanted to. So yeah, my name is Brittany and what I do, I help teachers start online businesses. Now, the reason I'm presenting in here is because it's not all just teachers. You, If you are an entrepreneur, if you are already a graphic designer or a service provider or a coach, then you might also wanna consider opening a store on Teachers Pay Teachers because there's so much you can sell on there, especially if you sell digital products or design services or anything like that. And if you serve other entrepreneurs since you know, half, at least half of what who's on Teachers Pay Teachers are selling, right? So they're entrepreneurs as well. So your market is probably there. So I'm just going to share how you can get started. And we're going to start with the basics because I know that some people who might be watching this don't even know what Teachers Pay Teachers is. So let's start from the beginning. What is Teachers Pay Teachers? So if you haven't been on it before, Teachers Pay Teachers is a website where teachers can go on and buy resources for their classroom. So sometimes this is worksheets, assessments. It could even be designs for their bulletin board if they're not a super artsy crafty person. And so yeah, teachers buy stuff and there's also teachers who sell stuff. It's a digital marketplace, very similar to Amazon or Etsy, or you could even think of like eBay, except for that it's specifically for teachers and by teachers and the focus is on digital products. So yeah, digital marketplace. 
And you don't have to be a teacher to buy and sell on there. I think that's one big question I hear a lot. You could be a mom who does homeschool. You could be someone who creates social media templates and you want to help TBT sellers and teacherpreneurs to be able to sell more of their resources. That would be a great market for you to get into. Maybe you are a graphic designer and you help entrepreneurs build websites. Then you could have templates and things on there and you could even sell your services on there. I actually sell services on there as well. So I just want to help you kind of expand your mind when you think about what's possible. If you're already an entrepreneur, then selling on Teachers Pay Teachers can be a way to expand your client base, to get exposed to more people and to kind of consider teacherpreneurs as, you know, maybe even a niche if you're still looking for who you want to serve. And I personally, I'm still a teacher myself, at least for now, and having been a teacher and seeing how little we make, it's something that's really, really important to me and close to my heart to make sure that teachers can make more money so that they can have the experiences that similarly educated colleagues have, right? So yeah, um, if you have any questions, again, just put them in the comments, even if you're not watching this live. Like I want you to know, even if you're watching this days, weeks later, I really want to answer your questions and help you. So just put them in the comments and I'll get back to you personally. Okay, yeah, so digital products, marketplace. What can you sell? So you, if you're watching this and you're a teacher, you might know about Teachers Pay Teachers because you've bought there before. And you might have even thought once or twice, like, hmm, maybe I could sell. And you probably push it down, like, no, no, I don't have graphic design skills. I don't have a ton of time. I don't have time to go and learn this stuff. I don't have money to invest. So I want to talk through some of those things. And the first big question is, what can you sell? So literally anything digital. You could sell fonts. If you're a really creative, artistic person, you make your own fonts, you can sell those on there. I actually have a list. If you're if you're looking to sell on Teachers Pay Teachers, you can spend a lot of money on fonts and clip art. So if you're looking to sell there, I actually have an ultimate list of free fonts for commercial use. I'll be sure to drop it in the comments after I'm done. And that's totally free for you guys. It just takes you to the listings of these amazing font artists on Teachers Pay Teachers, and then you can download them for free there. Um, yeah, so I'll be sure to drop that link in the comments after I'm done here. But if you can design fonts, then you should definitely be selling on Teachers Pay Teachers because you have so many people like me who would buy your stuff. Clip art. If you love to use like your iPad and the Procreate app and design new things, then you would also maybe want to consider that because all of us teachers pay teachers sellers are always looking for new clip artists who are really talented, who make quality stuff. It's 300 DPI or better. And if, um, and if you, you know, it's not even just sellers, actually, some teachers will just make resources for their own students in the classroom. So a lot of clip artists sell to teachers as well, who are using it for like personal educational use. Worksheets is probably a pretty obvious one. I actually have multiple stores on Teachers Pay Teachers, and one of the stores I have is just focusing on math fact fluency for third, fourth, and fifth grade students. So if you are a teacher and if you've taught those grades, then you probably know how hard it is to teach on grade level math content when they still don't know their basic math facts, like three times eight and so on. And so that's what that store is focused on but you could literally make worksheets for just about anything. You could make worksheets for ELA, for guided reading, to help with writing, um, for math, any kind of math. Worksheets are really great, and since worksheets is a really heavily searched term, you would do really well in there as long as you optimize your listings. Ebooks. So I know, it seems like anyway, that almost every entrepreneur I know has some kind of ebook. So if your ebook is specifically for entrepreneurs, then you might want to consider selling it on Teachers Pay Teachers because you might have other TPT sellers who would pick it up and say, oh, I can learn from this. Especially because naturally a lot of teachers don't have uh, marketing skills or business mindset or any experience with advertising or anything like that. So if you have ebooks that focus on that and you market and optimize your listing well, that could be a gold mine for you. Google Classroom headers. This is actually how I started. So if you're a teacher and you've taught digitally or virtual, which you probably did if you were teaching last year, Google Classroom headers are those fun little decorations that go on the top of your Google Classroom. And even something as simple as that, I made mine, I make mine in Canva, I still make and sell them. And those sell really well. I made hundreds in my first month of being on Teachers Pay Teachers. My first month, you guys, of selling on Teachers Pay Teachers, I made $400. And all I was selling was Google Classroom headers with cute little designs I was kind of making for fun to de-stress. And 
resources for Google Classroom for teachers who went virtual. That was all I did. And I will tell you, my graphic design skills were minimal. I was learning how to play in Canva and kind of use it, but you don't have to be like if you are a graphic design artist, of course, like that's that's wonderful. But as long as what you can create can help teachers make them happy or solve a problem they're having when it comes to teaching or being in the classroom, then there's a place for you on Teachers Pay Teachers. Crafts and activities. If you are someone who can come up with like really cool things to do with your kids in the classroom, like um, origami or foldables or just like active engaging activities for them to engage with the concepts of the learning, that would be a great place for you. Or maybe you are an artisan or a craft person and you want to teach that to kids. You could actually sell your resources to teachers that they could then buy and use that in the classroom. So if you kind of expand your thinking here, you might already have some kind of product that you sell on Etsy, Amazon, or whatever that you could just slightly repurpose to either sell to teachers or sellers on Teachers Pay Teachers. Okay, STEM challenges or like um, anything to do with technology or robotics. Again, this is something that you can get kind of creative here. One thing that I really, really love is project-based learning. But many teachers, even us who like it, we don't always have the time to sit there and make our own project-based learning units. So if you have done something really amazing with students in the past, if you've been in the classroom, or if you're teaching right now, you can repackage that as something where teachers can just pick it up, take it into their classroom, and start some project-based learning with their students. I've seen on Teachers Pay Teachers uh, simulations to run a food truck, which is very in line with entrepreneurship, starting a lemonade stand. I mean, there's literally anything you can think of, you can find it on there. And so if you're thinking like, this isn't for me, like it might be for me, but I don't really know, I'm not really a teacher, let me know what your questions are in the comments because you could probably repurpose what you're doing and make really good money on there. And there are sellers on Teachers Pay Teachers making millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands, full-time income, or even just a few hundred a month. So you can you can do it. And I've done it. I'm not making six figures. I'm going to be honest here. I know that seems like in the online entrepreneurship space, everybody's going for six figures or you know, first million. But yeah, maybe that's your goal. But if you still haven't made hundreds or thousands yet, let's help you build those foundational skills and actually start your business with digital products so you can scale to that, right? We need to get started. We need to walk before we can run. Graphic design borders. So if you either make like templates or if you make anything for Facebook groups, for Instagram, for social media, then that'd be a really good place for you as long as you're selling to the TPT sellers and teacherpreneurs themselves. I actually, one of the stores I have is specifically for Facebook groups and my templates on there sell really well. Another group I, or another store I have is for people who are just getting started on Teachers Pay Teachers, and I'm gonna share some stuff in the comments for that later. And that one is templates. So if you have Canva Pro, for example, you can create a template in there. Like maybe you could even create worksheet templates. Now be careful with Canva Pro, you don't wanna use one of their templates to make a template and then sell it. But yeah, you, there's things that you can do on there to, um, to sell templates too, if that's what you do maybe off of Teachers Pay Teachers. And you can make coloring sheets and Google Sheets. I mean, there's so much you can do. I have in my math store, I have a self-correcting Google Sheet worksheet template that I use for all kinds of different things, long division, multi-digit multiplication, and I just have the problems on there and the students work through it. And down at the end, if they get the answer right, it lights up green. If they get it wrong, it lights up red. And so they don't even have to tell the teacher when they've got it done. They know right away, like, yes, I got it right. Or like, oh, I need to go back and look at that. And so that saves a lot of back and forth and like classroom management and stress on the teacher. So if you think about it like that, what kind of problem can I solve for teachers? Or how can I make them happier? How can I make their jobs easier in the classroom? Or even from the student perspective, if you love serving kids, how can I make this easier for kids? Then you will be in a great place, my friend, and you'll have something that will make you money. Okay, so we've already talked about what Teachers Pay Teachers is. I've given you a list of some things that you can sell, and I actually have, um, I have another document and a workshop where I go more in depth into this. I will drop that link in the comments as well so that you guys can grab that. So you can sell pretty much anything digital, okay? Um, but like the next question is like, how can you make those things? So a lot of teachers will say stuff like, I'm not a graphic designer or even entrepreneurs. They'll say, well, I don't know if my stuff is really good enough. 
You've probably heard about it if you've watched other, other trainings in this group that imposter syndrome is a very real thing. When you care about the quality of the products you create, the services you provide, the coaching you deliver, you're probably going to have some kind of imposter syndrome because you're going to think, I really want to do right by these people. I really want to serve them well. Am I sure that I have what it takes? Do I have the certifications or the qualifications or the ability? Do I even have the mental space and energy sometimes, depending on where you're at, to deliver that? I will say time-wise, if you want to be successful on Teachers Pay Teachers, there's going to be a lot to learn at the beginning, and it will be a little bit overwhelming. So you're just going to be, for the first probably few bits, just absorbing information. Absorb, absorb, absorb. You're going to be learning. You're going to be tempted to go and watch all of the YouTube videos, listen to all of the podcast episodes, consume all of the free trainings, just like this one, and it's going to be overwhelming at first. But one thing that I'm really good at, my superpower, as you can say, with coaching is getting people to take messy action fast. I take messy action all the time. If you watch my posts, if you're friends with me or you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I probably have typos. And that's because I don't look back. I just make the content, boom, post it. Now, I usually go back and edit it afterwards. But the point is, even though it's not all perfect, I get a lot of stuff done. I'm able to be super, super productive and efficient with my time because time is a big pressure, is really precious to me. It's a big deal. The whole reason that I'm creating a business is to have the financial security, that freedom, and that flexibility with my time that teaching doesn't afford me. Probably that your full time job hasn't afforded you. I'm sure that's why you've wanted to be an entrepreneur, with similar values. So, I try to also think when I'm creating products for teachers or students on Teachers by Teachers, how can I get them more of their freedom and flexibility and time back? So yeah, how can you make it? So you can make you can make resources using a few different tools. I mean, literally there are so many, but today we're specifically focusing on what you can do with no money. So if you're a teacher, you might already be using some of these tools. If you're not, you still probably use them if you're an entrepreneur. PowerPoint. PowerPoint is my favorite tool to use for digital resources, for at least for worksheets, because it makes it really easy to like put your custom fonts and clip art that you buy or download if it's free. You can do basically anything with it once you get fluent in it. And it makes it really easy to convert to Google Slides later if you want to have digital resources. And I highly recommend that. Like, I'm all about adding value. So when I make a printable resource with Google Slides, I always make a version in Google or in PowerPoint, excuse me. I make a digital version in Google Slides as well. And it's very, very easy to do. It takes probably a few times to get used to workflow, but I actually have a workflow for that. So if you want like the step-by-step of how to create a product, I have that in a store launch bundle that I'm going to talk to you about in a minute. Um, but it literally walks you through that. It's like one, make your resource in PowerPoint. Okay. And then I give you all these tips and stuff and how to do it. I try to do everything step-by-step and break it down into bite-sized chunks. So it's doable for you because I want this to be doable for you. It totally is. So you can use PowerPoint for printables. You can use Google Slides if you want to have interactive digital resources. You can use Google Sheets, just like I mentioned earlier, especially if you're doing math resources. Google Sheets is amazing because students can work through the problem step by step and they can get immediate feedback right away, whether or not it's right, whether it's incorrect. And you could even set it up in such a way that it tells you what specifically is incorrect. If you want to serve teachers who serve very young students, or maybe if you teach young students yourself or have in the past, then consider Jamboard. Jamboard is another tool by Google that's completely free, and it's really, really great for interaction for kids who are still developing those fine motor skills. Like, you know, it's really hard for a five, six, seven-year-old to move a mouse around, right? But Jamboard is a little bit easier because the elements on there are bigger. You're working with sticky notes and images. And so if you make activities in Jamboard for digital use, really, really great tool. And of course, Probably my favorite. PowerPoint is the one that I go use the most, but my actual favorite tool, because I use it every single day for everything, is Canva. I'm sure you've heard about Canva before if you've been in this group for a while, but Canva is this kind of all-in-one, one-stop shop for graphic design. You can make social media posts, you can design elements for your website, you can create logos, you can create um, fonts and elements of clip art, or you could even use clip art and photos and elements that Canva provides to make your own designs. And it's really nice because they have so many templates on there to help you create things that look super professional. So I mentioned earlier that if you work in like social media management or 
coursing or consult or coaching or consulting, or if you have courses that you might want to sell templates, um, just important to note that Canva's uh, terms and conditions, if you're going to create templates on there, you can, but one, you want to make sure you have the Canva Pro account, which is 12 to $13, which that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about keeping it free. Uh, and you want to make sure that you're not using their templates and then like changing only one thing and reselling it. You know, you want to have some ethics there. Um, but yeah, so if you're just starting out free, then maybe use this time to use the Canva pre free version and just play with the account. Okay. Also a note, if you are an educator and you have a Canva educator account, their terms of use don't allow you to sell commercial, commercial products, like to sell anything for a profit made with an educator account. So be super careful with that. I would recommend like, and I'll tell you the whole process in a minute, having a separate email for your teachers pay teacher store for your business so that you don't confuse the two and so that you don't possibly get in trouble for violating Canvas terms of use later, okay? So ways, things that you can make that are free or platforms that you can use that are free to make resources are PowerPoint, Google Slides, Google Sheets, you have Jamboard and you have Canva and you don't have to use all of those. I would think about kind of who you're gonna serve. And I go more into depth with that. It's the mini course I have called the TPT Seller Launchpad. If you need to figure out exactly like what kind of resources you wanna make and what resources you're making, who you're making it for, all that stuff I cover in there. But yeah, so just generally think like which one you wanna learn first and then go from there. Okay, what are the steps for starting? So I'm gonna blaze through them. Again, I go more in depth with the step-by-step -step process with video tutorials and all of that jazz in my TPT Seller uh, Launchpad mini course. And I have a whole bundle, it gives you way more than that. But the basic process is the first step, figuring out who you wanna help. So who you wanna make resources for, right? You need to know that before you do anything else. Once you know that, then you can really brand your store and your business. So do you want it to be a high-end, luxury, high-service brand? Do you want it to be fun and youthful, whimsical and fun and playful, like maybe for little kids? Um, do you want it to be maybe mature? Maybe you're, you're, you're selling to teacherpreneurs. So maybe you use muted colors online. Totally up to you. But branding is something I love because it really makes your business come to life. Okay. So you figure out your niche, you brand your store and your business, and then practically you're going to want to get a separate email. So eventually you'll probably hear me talk about blogging and website design, but when you're first getting started on teachers pay teachers, you really don't need that, but you will want a separate email. So whatever the store of your name is going to be, which goes in with your branding, you're going to make an email. You could just use Gmail for this. Um, so, you know, like, um, happy classroom or whatever at gmail.com. Okay. After that, you're gonna set up a PayPal business account. Again, I go through this step-by-step, step. don't let tech intimidate you in my TBT Seller Launchpad, but even if you don't do that, there's there's like ways that you can just figure it out, okay? But you do wanna make sure you set up your PayPal business account correctly, so I walk you through that as well, okay? Once you have your niche, your brand, your store Gmail account, and your PayPal business account, then you're ready to sign up on Teachers Pay Teachers. If you don't already have a basic buyer account on there, um, and even if you do have a basic account, you'll probably want to start a new one anyway with your business email. That's what I recommend. So you'll first sign up as a buyer. That's the basic account, okay? Once you sign up for Teachers Pay Teachers, you're going to go to a tab in the upper right-hand side, and you're going to click a little link that says Become a Seller. Once you do that, that automatically upgrades you to a basic seller account. You'll put in your PayPal information, you'll put in your business info, and the basic account is free. Now they do take more, like every time you sell a resource, Teachers Pay Teachers takes a commission of that because you know, you're paying them for the hosting and for driving traffic to your products, but you can start totally free. You don't have to spend money there. I do recommend for sellers to upgrade to the premium seller account. It's $60 a year and I think it is so worth it because I mean, I made $400 in my first month. So, you know, you know, four times my investment or whatever. So definitely worth it. But I get like if 60 US dollars is a lot for you right now, you can start totally for free. And then as you make money, you can upgrade later. So sign up for a seller account, premium account if you want to. And then you start working on your store. You actually set up your store with your logo and your banners and you get it to look how you want it. This is part of that branding part that you had done earlier in the process. And then you make your freebie and list it. You make your first paid product and list it. And then you start making money. And that's a very basic process. 
I think that a lot of times entrepreneurs, coaches, and all this, sometimes we make things more complicated than they have to be. I know I definitely do that for myself sometimes, but making money on Teachers Pay Teachers is honestly very simple. And I would even venture to say it's actually pretty easy as long as you have a strategy, as long as you know overall what you're doing. And of course, like if you have help, if you have a coach or if you have a course to go through, it helps you save time, right? You don't need it though. You can start absolutely for free like today, this weekend if you want. But I get that. Like if I'm just listing it off to you, that can be super intimidating. So I do have something for you guys if you want to save time and if you want my support. So like I said, in my first month of selling on Teachers Pay Teachers, I made over $400. Since then, my stores have been growing. I've since opened up several other stores so I could really niche down what I was selling and I really credit that to my success as well as having super strong brands and then creating funnels that lead to traffic to my store. So yeah, so I have a few different things uh, that could help you. I have the TPT Seller Launchpad course, and that's $37 usually. I, I mean, I have so much stuff, I couldn't even list it off. But like that might be something you wanna consider if you're just, just getting started. I've also, as a promotional deal, I'm packaging like almost everything I have in my store right now for $99. So if you want the ultimate store launch bundle, then you definitely wanna check that out. Let me just read off to you everything included in here, because even when I was reading it, I was like, Oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff. And I was like, I made it, you know what I mean? So let me just let me just go in here and actually gotta put my glasses back on here. And also, if you again, if you have any questions about selling on teachers pay teachers or digital product creation in general, or like how you get traffic to your store, all of that stuff, go ahead and drop it in. Even if you're not here now, if you're watching it on the replay, tag me to make sure I see it. I'm Brittany Verlenich. You're welcome to add me as a friend and we'll figure it out, okay? So here's everything included in that launch bundle, okay? The ultimate store launch bundle. I thought of everything I wish I had two years ago, okay? So one thing that's included is the TPT Seller Launchpad course to help you learn the basics, okay? Like I said, that alone is usually $37. So if you just want that and nothing else, you can do that. But with everything else included, you're gonna wanna hear everything and buy it all because it's a better deal. So the bundle includes that. It also includes some stunning Lightroom presets to help you with product photography. The best sales I've gotten are when I've actually had photos of my products. Now, I know if you're doing digital products, sometimes it's hard, you need screenshots, but any way you can make it come to life. And product photography is one way to do that. So I have Lightroom presets that I use to edit my photos, and I give those to you so they look really nice and professional. I have a product creation Trello board, okay, that walks you through the step of actually creating a freebie, creating a paid product, creating a product line. It's the uh, basically, I shouldn't say the exact same one, but it's basically the one I use for my own product creation, and I give that to you. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so yeah, walks you through the process of like, okay, you need to make the product, make sure you put your copyright in, like all those little things. And you know, once you do it a few times, a lot of that will become like, you know, second nature to you. But when you're first getting started, it's a godsend. I also have a blog post workflow Trello board. So if you're thinking like, okay, you either have a blog, maybe you've been a blogger, or eventually you wanna have a blog to sell your resources, that's included as well. I also have a beginner blogger's guide, which is an ebook to everything about blogging to sell your digital products, as well as a product cover template pack so that you can stop the scroll on the store and a product description swipe file so that you have the copy and those keywords and all that search engine optimization to make sure that people click on your product and that it comes up in the top rankings when people are searching on there. The thing I'm also adding in to really add value here, I usually do a store audit for $47. I'm adding that in as well. So even that and just the course alone is like worth it. But the store audit, basically once you have five products at least in your store, I go through your store and I do a deep dive into each feature of the product listing. I look at your covers, your thumbnails, your previews and say, how can we better optimize this to make sure more people come and that more people buy, okay? And then for everyone today, I have my ultimate guide to the free fonts for commercial use that you can get on Teachers Pay Teachers. I'll be sure to link that below. And for the first 10 people who buy the ultimate store launch bundle for new TPT sellers, I'm doing a one hour coaching and strategy session where we're not just gonna look at your store, but your overall strategy in general to make sure that you know who you're selling to, who is going to buy it, where they're at, so where should you be spending your time so we can get more traffic to your store, 
make sure your posts are optimized to get them to buy, and that we make sure we keep them happy so that they keep coming back. So that's about everything I have for today. I'll be sure to drop that link in the comments in case you want to get the ultimate store launch bundle for new TPT sellers. I will also share your list for free fonts. And you know, if you're, even if you're not sure about all this yet, and you just want some more free support and coaching, feel free to come over to the TPT Seller Launchpad group. It's a group specifically for teachers and entrepreneurs who are thinking about starting a new Teachers Pay Teacher store or who are just started. So that'll be perfect for you. I will drop all of those links in the comments. Otherwise, I, I wanna say like, thank you for being willing to invest in yourself. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will talk to you all soon, bye. Thank you so much for watching and listening and just tuning in today. If you haven't already, I would so appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to this channel and click that little bell so that you never miss notification of a new video if you haven't done that already. And if you haven't reviewed my podcast yet, I would so appreciate it if you would review it, take a screenshot, feel free to tag me at Teach Blog Travel or TPT Seller Central so I can tag you back. Be sure to check the description of the YouTube video or the show notes of the podcast, Seller to CEO Podcast, in case you need all the details we mentioned. So I have a free font list for commercial use. I have free clip art for commercial use. And it's basically just a list of the best listings on Teachers Pay Teachers where you can download the list. Download that stuff for free. And of course, I would also love to support you in the Facebook groups. TPT Seller Launchpad is for brand new sellers and those who are thinking about starting on Teachers Pay Teachers at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash teach blog travel. If you're a more seasoned seller looking for accountability, community, and support, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash tpt seller central. I'll see you there.